Hi Aries, this is Shah speaking and this is going to be your reading for the 15th to the 21st of um, June and this is the last week in Gemini and we're going at the end of next week we'll be in, we're going into Cancer so the energy will change next week Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed the Gen Gemini uh, energy and uh, the, I think the ret retrograde will be passed as well and you've got pretty good cards by the looks of it and I forgot to get the angel cards so there you are just got it I've been moving things about I've been moving <laughs> things about for the last couple of days okay and this is your reading like I said so if you're new you've just landed on this page then welcome please subscribe and hit the bell then you'll be notified when I go live I go live three times a week Monday Wednesday and Friday I give away free cards and I also answer questions that are supported with a donation let it be a super chat or super sticker and if you would like to have an extended reading then you can find the information below this video and in the top right hand corner um, a little white circle just click on that and it will take you to the website and also welcome to my cyber angels and thank you very much for your uh, beautiful loyalty and joining us in the or joining me in the live tea room in the live sessions and you are number eight because you um, showed me your uh, appreciation uh, with 31 likes so if you want to be first then hit that button the give me the thumbs up and you might become first you've been really great the last two weeks you were one of the highest so also uh, let's get started with this reading I'm using um, uh, two decks and uh, in the reading this is my extended spread that I do in a personal readings but only with one deck and I use a different deck to clarify this is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. This is the querent, that's you, or I'm pretending that I'm, you're sitting opposite me, or uh, you can take it as the overall energy. So let's get started with the reading. And the first card that you have, Aquari uh, Aries, is number 15, which is a 6. So a 6 means that you are in balance, but it is the devil. The devil means that there might be somebody around you, if it is not you, that has bad habits or has addictions. And of course, um, if, you, if you do have a bad habit, like coming late or burning the candle on two sides, then you should be more careful, because you'll be wearing yourself out. There could be somebody else around you that's manipulative. That is also a bad, uh, um, a, ba a bad habit, or somebody that bosses you about. Don't you, you know? You don't belong to anybody except yourself. You're supposed to be with somebody, so uh, nobody is allowed to boss you or demand you or manipulate you, and you're doing everything like cleaning the house or doing the shopping or organizing and they're sitting back listening to their music and drinking beer or drinking pop so tell them to go and stand up and get active and break that habit and if they can't because it's very very difficult to break bad habits then tell them to seek advice help the devil also represents um, Capricorn because of the, uh, the horns that he has, but not in this deck. Usually he has horns and he's depicted as the devil with horns and animal feet. Right, half human, half um, animal. And I think that's really a pity because Capricorns are sweet. Okay, well, the devil, it all depends what we define as devil as um, an individual as well but it's negative energy that is what he depicts so it could be somebody around you so don't let yourself be used or abused that is the message 
now on Monday you have the page of swords this is a um, Aquarius but don't exclude Gemini or Libra you will you might meet an Aquarius or you might get news from an Aquarian which is younger than you usually a teenager okay and the news could come through cyber email text message or a telephone call something might become clear to you especially if you are in a judicial situation with regards to somebody that is negative or is evil <laughs> well you know it could be somebody has uh, um, argued with you and you're breaking free you're right on track so you might have uh, an official news as well now on Wednesday you have the nine of swords and it's depicted with all these spiders look at the mother spider holding on to her children with um, a thread it's like the devil he's holding on to you with a thread and he's pulling your strings that's manipulation now nobody is allowed to do that like I said and you might have sleepless nights because you're worried because you want to break free you want it to end you want to take back your control and you are so but just a piece of advice the end is here where there is an ending there's a new beginning but give your stress and worries over to the divine and the angels so that you can have a sleepful night a beautiful night that you can sleep peacefully and get out of your mind use your wisdom give it over to the spirit and so when you have a beautiful night's sleep you'll be rejuvenated and ready to go for that new beginning then on Friday you have the star you've got Capricorn and you have Aquarius and that is January February so something might have happened in January or February you might have started to wish in January or February as we have the wish uh, the wish card here and that is the star your goal or wish is coming to fruition and look at this you've got the nine of cups that's the other wish card so you've got two wish cards <coughs> At the weekend you have the King of Pentacles and as it happens that is also the energy this weekend so perhaps you might have two great weekends everything you touch will turn to gold and that could be the news that your investment or that your your uh, judicial um, case has passed and you've won that could be it that's telling you everything is safe your investment your hard work is paying off so that is brilliant news or you can meet the king of pentacles which is taurus but don't exclude uh, virgo or capricorn just to recap the people in your reading because you've got quite a lot of people i'll do that at the end because i see more people <coughs> excuse me and first of all you have the fool so take that leap of faith to that new beginning like I said there is an ending so where there is an ending there is a new beginning you have the the fool take that leap of faith you've come all the way you've climbed up and you're reaching the top great stuff now that could be the news that you might have reached the top and that you might get a promotion it could be that it could be that as um, one of these people in your readings is offering you a new beginning to break free from manipulation and um, uh, bossiness okay so you could be f breaking free from Taurus you could be breaking free from Capricorn Aquarius or an air sign so beautiful good news the swords are also a symbol of cutting so you're breaking loose that's definitely one thing and here you are you've got the um, uh, advisor here you've got the Emperor 
The emperor is a mature man or a professional that gives advice. So perhaps you've seeked legal advice or advice from a father figure. What can I do about this? Somebody's bossing me and I want to break free. And you've you've listened to them and you're breaking free. You're taking that leap of faith. You've gone to the advisor and he's helping you. It could also be an air sign because they are um, very, very precise and they do stand for justice and clarity and honesty. So they will fight for you right till the end. But the Emperor is also an Aries. That is you. Okay, Aries. So you could be asking help from an other Aries. And he, he or she will make your dream or wish come true. And to break free, for example, from a bad habit. And it's turning into positivity. You are going to succeed. You will be a champion at what you have to do. Your wish is coming true. Okay? Your wish is coming true. You've got the Nine of Cups. You're leaving um, a somber, negative period behind you and you're going into a beautiful period emotionally and your wish is coming true, your goal is coming true but emotionally you are fulfilled and happy look at the signs from the angels they're showing you the feather you won't have to have sleepless nights anymore because you've given it over to the divine like I said to you earlier on you are breaking free from bad habits or from somebody that has bad habits. It's becoming clear to you. Okay. Now, again, um, this corner, we have the death. You are in a transformational period. You are no longer the caterpillar. Okay. You are the butterfly. So if you've had a, a bad habit, you've kicked the habit by the end of the week. And you've seeked help, medical advice or ju uh, judicial advice. So it could be a Scorpio. There's the death represents Scorpio. And you can just see the little Scorpio there. Beautiful. Again, a new beginning. So in this row, and that is usually when I read it in the extended personal reading, I take this row as the future. That is the energy overall. Your angel card is the blue angel card. Accept life as it is. The angels are here to advise you that you will feel that you will feel a calming inner peace and a peace of mind when you stop trying to control everything in your life. If you are the controller, then break that habit and accept life as it is. You will not have sleepless nights anymore because the angels are here to help you. And blue is the color also of the throat chakra and Archangel Michael and also of service. Look at the police, they wear blue. Look at the Marines, they wear blue. Those are also colors of service. Now it is pretty orange here because I've got the sun blinds down and this card came out. The orange sapphire. And it's 41. 1 and 4 is 5 so you're not totally in balance. And the orange sapphire means joy and sensuality, respecting your body and body love. So respect your body, don't burn the candles at both ends, don't drink uh, uh, bad drinks like pop or alcohol or like things like that, energy drink, they're not good for you. Just as healing crystals are of the earth yet separated from it we are part of Gaia and the, sa and the same water minerals and crystals are found within us as well as within the earth sometimes we can feel completely in our heads and 
out of touch. Wow. So clean in the head. Boom. Okay. And out of touch with our bodies. But Orange Sapphire Spirit is here to remind us that our bodies will serve us throughout our lifetime. So treat yours lovingly. Nourish it with good foods from the earth and water that will replenish you. Wonder at bodies, your body's beauty and strength. Marvel at its ability to keep your heart beating and your lungs inhaling and exhaling without your conscious effort. Archangel Michael, the lungs and throat. Regardless of the flaws you think your body has, now is the time to pay attention to it and tend to it with love. The message of Orange Sapphire Spirit is to honor your body and experience its miracles, the senses that distinguish so many different scents, sounds, textures and colors. Be fully present in your body today and observe what you experience and what your body has to tell you. Care for it and express gratitude to it, for it is through your body's sense that you can experience pleasure. And it's also the sacral color, okay, from the angelic chakra. Now I've also got a message for relationships. Our interaction with others through technology can help us build the bonds, cyber, of friendship, family and romance. Our orange sapphire spirit appears when you need to get back into your body and connect with it physically so that you can express love in a tangible way. Hug somebody, hold their hand and explore the gifts of the senses with an other listening with an other listening to music together cooking good food with each other being in the same physical space ground your relationship in activities you do with each other today so that you both can be reminded of the precious gift that is the body and nourish your relationship to it for the prosperity message is you are more than just your thoughts and emotions you are also your body which is here to carry you through this experience of life on earth do you honor your body by devoting or devoting money to it care or do you cheap out because you think it is a frivolous and unimportant to tend your physical being Adornment isn't necessarily rooted in vanity. Caring for your hair, skin, body is a way to express love to yourself and this marvelous vehicle for your spirit that will take you from A to B. Today is a day for sensual pleasure and expressing love to your body. Put your money where your body is and take good care of it. Whether it's attending to your health or showing your body lots of love so you feel good in your own skin. So in other words, that could be a bad habit that you're not taking care of your body. You're eating the raw, like I said, in the first instance, burning the candle at two ends not take it relaxing the right way. You can relax but do it with somebody else and share and nurture your body by taking relaxing baths with oils or salt and also rubbing it in with cream. So relax and when you go out into the sun protect your body, love your body. Take at least factor 30 and watch out for the UV rays Okay, Aries, I know you're a fire sign. You might think you're tough, but you're just a, as a beautiful human being as the next. Okay, so 
the body is the um, is the um, the house of the soul. It holds your soul, okay. And the, your eyes are the windows of your soul. So make those shine and glisten like the stars. So be happy and healthy. Stay safe and have a beautiful week. Take care and please like and share. Love you. Ciao, ciao.